The impact of the pandemic to economic activity has been devastating. This is on top of ailing GDP growth during the past decade, and in particular since the 2016 Brexit vote. There is a need for an ambitious plan that will not only allow for quick recovery, but also set strong foundations for long-term growth. The biggest fear is the increase in taxation would stall investment and stifle growth. Fiscal prudence is necessary in good times, but not when the economy is recovering from one of its worst crises in recent times. With record low levels of borrowing costs, this is not the time to do anything that might slam the brakes to economic recovery. The impact will depend on a variety of factors that relate to sector and firm level circumstances. The most obvious ones relate to the firm performance over the past 12 months, its impact on the firm's financial health, and the firm's overall ability to generate funds, either from operations or borrowing, to finance its investment activities. This will depend on what each firm's effective tax rate is. What most people do not understand is that there is a significant difference between nominal and effective corporate tax rates, as many UK corporations do not pay anywhere close to their nominal tax rate. This is because of either government policy, through, for example, rebates and exemptions, or rampant tax avoidance. Tax avoidance has the potential to significantly increase in inequalities and would disproportionately affect smaller, less sophisticated businesses. This could propagate the imbalance in economic activity across regions, ultimately derailing economic recovery. The real impact of the pandemic on employment and corporate survival will become apparent once the government starts phasing out the COVID support schemes. The UK ended the crisis in a strong position regarding overall employment levels, but I'm afraid the sluggish growth pre-pandemic, coupled with a prolonged recovery period, might lead to significant and protracted unemployment, particularly in certain UK regions. This would lead to further imbalances in the UK economy post-pandemic. Mm -hmm.